I've had the privilege to be invited to the new Honda HRV launch and we're in Lisbon driving one example which is the petrol version 1.5 CVT semi-automatic. There's also a 1.6 diesel available but that's not available with an automatic gearbox unfortunately. The range will start from 17,995 UK pounds and it will extend to around 25,000 pounds. That price should be confirmed very soon by Honda. Honda have made a big statement by saying that its direct competitor is the Nissan Qashqai, which of course is the past leading crossover and has been for a number of years. On first impressions, when you look at the HRV, it does look a little bit like a Nissan Duke in terms of dimensions, but Honda have reinstated that it is Qashqai territory that they want to take advantage of because the crossover market is a very lucrative one. Honda, quite uniquely, have relocated the, the fuel tank so it's located beneath the, the front seat. That means that the floor pan is lower in the rear. So you can actually walk through the rear seating area when the seats are in the vertical position because of course it's got the magic seating configuration. And the boot space is very deep and there's another tray with another area that you can put your, your gubbins in. Looking towards the rear of the vehicle, there are no quarter lights, so it's quite bright. Although the vehicles that we've driven have a dark interior. Finish is good, but there's a bit of hard plastic on the top of the dashboard. Driving experience is very positive. Steering is weighted towards the centre position. Now unusually the CVT gearboxes, the continuously variable transmission ones, have higher MPGs than the manual versions. And just to demonstrate this CVT in the 1.5 petrol, if I just give it a bit of welly on an incline here, like now, we're over 4,000 revs there and you can really hear it crashing. We think the CVT will be a lot better suited to the, the diesel because it's a higher compression engine. HRV will not be offered with four-wheel drive in the UK. There's just not enough market for it, say Honda. So it's quite a lean model range. The help of the Qashqai is that it's got so many different models. I think I counted about 26 models. With the HRV, not as many, and certainly Honda do a disservice by not offering a an automatic gearbox. But of course Honda is synonymous with reliability and is at the head of the surveys. And that could be its unique advantage over the Nissan.